Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn and master about Angular components. What are Angular components? Why are they important? How do we generate custom components? And how do we communicate between different components? We will learn all about that in today's episode. Let's get started. This is part 13 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you in this particular series. Make sure that you check out the description box for the notes, code, and I will make it available in the GitHub repo as well. All right, so so far we have covered around 12 uh, episodes. So make sure that you have gone through all the previous episodes so that you have continuity in your learning. I have covered each topic carefully and in detail so that it will help you learn and master Angular 10. If you have any doubts, please drop them in the comments section below. I'll be happy to help you. So today we are focusing on learning about Angular components. It's important that you have gone through the previous uh, episode which is about Angular modules where we have created custom modules, we have learned about modules, the composition of it, what do they consist of, much, much more, because it would set the context for you. All right, so let's get started. In today's episode, we will learn about all about components in Angular, and we will also learn how to create custom components in our application. Let's get started. All right, so, I am going to make notes here for you separately on episode number 13, which is Angular Components, right? All right, let's get started. So in the previous episode, just a recap, if you go through this, you will see that we have uh, made detailed notes about Angular modules. We have covered everything, what an, a module is, what does it consist of, and we created some custom modules for our application, which is contacts, leads, settings, opportunities, and authentication, right? Today, we learn about Angular components. Now, components are the most important and basic building blocks of Angular applications, right? Angular apps. Now, now think of it this way, to give you a more practical way to explain you what components are. In the previous episode, we created a authentication module, right? So we said that module is nothing, but it's a group which consists of services, components, pipes, directives, etc. So in authentication, we will have multiple components. Like for example, we will have new user, will be a component. We'll have a component called login. We will have a component called forgot password we will have something say reset password right these are all different components which all belong to the same functionality of authentication and that's why we group them under one module right so what is a component component uh, you can say that it's a, a component is the smallest you would say functionality that you will implement in your application your application right and we will group when we group multiple multiple components together it becomes a module becomes a module right so whenever we have multiple components when we group them it becomes a module so it's a simple thing right so what is a component you can think of it like a smallest functionality that you want in your application right that is what i can tell you and we can have multiple components inside a module, right? Also, we can have parent-child relationship. Now see, we can have, we can have parent-child relationship, right? Now what do I mean by parent-child relationship of components? It means that first, let's say I have something called dashboard. Inside dashboard page, I have something called um, context list, right? I have contact list, which is nothing but context module, right? Inside this contact list, I can also have something called grid. 
I can have uh, options of contact contact options I can say contact grid right so here I'm saying display contact list is one component right I'm saying display contact list is one component inside that I have multiple components one of which is contact grid the other is contact options I would say contact uh, say download right or a contact export so you see these are all different uh, components inside this component right so we can have multiple parent child relationship right which means we can have components defined inside components right we can have components inside components that is the important thing that you should know so let's list it down here as well we can we can have components uh, inside components right that basically if you see here it can become a tree structure right if I take this and put it here and here so see now it is becoming like a hierarchy right this is called in angular we call is tree hierarchy of components right tree hierarchy key of components now what it means see if you see here it is becoming like this the dashboard inside dashboard we have display contact list inside display contact list we have contact grid inside contact grid we have contact download and export right so like that we can have a, a tree structure hierarchy of components right so and since we are talking about parent child relationship dashboard is a parent of display contact display contact is a parent of contact grid contact grid is the parent of contact import and contact export right so that is how we can have tree hierarchy of components now let's we will learn all about that in next episodes where we learn about interaction between them for today's episode this is all you should have an understanding now we will learn how to create custom components right let's learn let's create some custom components right now we will since we are building a live application called simple CRM we will build components for our modules that we defined right so let's let me go to some uh, contacts profiles authentication and we will define components for each of those modules all right so let's get started there so the first thing that we are doing is let's go to contacts let's go to app src right so here we will go to source and then I'm going to app then I'm going to contacts right I'm inside the contacts folder now right and here I'm going to create some components let's create them so for contacts I'm going to create I will say the command ng generate you can write a shortcut ngg component followed by component name and the component name is add contact similarly we can say ng generate component edit contact g generate component I'm going to say uh, list contacts generate component delete contact right so let's go ahead and generate these components for contacts ng generate component add contact then we are going to say ng generate edit component right and similarly we will say edit delete right so we are going to say edit delete component and we are going to say list components okay so this is how or last we'll add one more which is view component okay all right beautiful so we have all the components created inside contacts now you see we have add contact delete contact edit list and view right so what are what are the some of the things that we will learn here 
right so let's open any of the contact component right so you would see it will create a class right it will create a class called whatever name we have given in the while generating followed by component right and some of the key things that you will learn here is every component every component has four files attached to it or generated by default four files auto generated right with it right all right so now the first one is you will have con component dot html file you'll have component dot ts file you'll have component dot spec dot ts file component dot scss or css whichever styling you have chosen now component html file means here if you see add contact component dot html which means this is the html this is the view or you can call html or template file right which is nothing but your ui right ui which means how your ui should look component dot ts means it will be a class file which will have methods which will have methods and implementation like logic basically right you can say logic now the next is spec.ts now what is spec.ts it will have the test script this is the unit test script for component right it will have the unit test file and scss is for styling or style sheet of the component right now just go over it this is your homework right so what is your homework which is to go ahead and check for each component that it's we have generated right like i am showing you for add contact similarly open delete contact component and you would see the same right you will see um, it will have a html css edit component will also have the same right like edit comp uh, i i think i gave by mistake component it should be contact i'll clean it up so edit component list component all of that will have the html template ts and the spec file right so go over it each of it understand how they whether they are generated or not verify that all right so that's your homework verify all the components generated and go through the code generated all right so the next important thing that you should learn and know is open any component.ts file right it would have a this uh, that is the decorator component decorator right component decorator inside the component.ts file right now the component decorator will have couple of things in it right like it will have a selector right now this means this is a very very important thing right think of this as unique unique identifier for the comp for the component right which means how how will you refer to this particular component right how will you refer to the component is what the selector is or you can think of it like this is the id of the component right this is how you will reference it or you will use this is how you will use the component using this selector we will use the component okay then there is something called template url or we can use template either of one right that is nothing but the template so you have template url which is nothing but your html code that you want to link that is nothing but component.html file right so if you see here add component.html which is nothing but the html file this is when you have a large html file but if you have only little html that you want to use you can also just write template this is also fine and you will define the template here like this like you can write html right here also right so see if you have only just one line of html you can use directly in the component decorator 
but this is a rare use case right you should know it you should be aware of it but rarely we will use this because when you work with real time applications rarely you will have such component where you don't have any template right so most of the cases you will have the template file and that's why we will link it to html using template url right that is your template url the next one is style urls right the next one is style urls now this is for linking your component style sheet component style sheet that is nothing but your component dot scss or css whichever you have generated right so that is how this whole component decorator works right and we know that at the rate component is imported from the angular core right all right so that's about uh, this component that we will do uh, there is a lot of more things like um, the component life cycle everything we will cover it in uh, the next episode right so that's all you should know in this episode as starting of learning of components learn about the components learn to generate the components understand the default code that is generated in the component right that's all you should know we will learn gradually and step by step i will help you i will help you learn and master everything in detail so stay tuned there with me and if you like the video hit the like button if you are enjoying please drop in your comments if you have any draw questions or doubts please drop me your comments i will be happy to answer them also please support me by liking sharing and subscribing to my channel if you like my work and my tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com/arctutorials thank you so much in the next episode we will continue learning components in the next episode i will teach you about component life cycle methods which are very very important from implementation perspective thank you so much for joining i'll see you in next episode